So guys, I just came home and found this little package in my room here, in my office. And I'm very, very keen to unpack this one. So, um... And Toby is helping me with the parcel. Alright, there we are. Unboxing and first look at the portable unboxing and first look of the portable switchable EVSE from Evolution Australia. There may be some horses and dogs in the video as well. So, in the box is my brand new shiny EVSE from Evolution. EV Evolution. Evolution. Let's quickly compare the new EVSE with the old standard. Let's quickly compare the new EVSE to the old standard EVSE which comes with a car. The 240 volt plug of the old standard EVSE and of the new one. At the first glance they look the same, but they have a different earth contact. So uh, let me explain that. In Australia we have two different standards for the 240 volt sockets. One is the normal 10 amp outlet which you find in your house, in your garage and almost everywhere. It connects your normal appliances inside your house like toasters and kettles. The Outlander PHEV standard EVSE usually comes with a 15 amp plug as well. Because the EVSE supplies only 8 to 10 amps to the car anyway, I have replaced the 15 amp plug with a 10 amp plug. And look, don't get me wrong, this is totally legal, because the device will only pull 10 amp maximum and this is a 10 amp plug. This is totally legal. The new EVSE from Evolution Australia has actually a 15 amp plug on it as well but in this case we need to keep this one this is a switchable EVSE so you can select the output power between 8 and 15 amps so in comparison the plug of the new EVSE is a lot larger than the standard plug both plugs have a little hole in the switch so you actually can install a little lock and prevent the plug from being removed by someone else. Standard EVSE has only one button to stop the charging process. The new EVSE has no button anywhere. The whole manual is printed on the back. Now oh, that's handy. I'm, I'm very good in misplacing manuals. So if this new EVSE has no switches at all, Oh, how? do you know how to change the settings on it? To change the output power from 6 to 10 or 15 amp, you have to... I have seen switchable EVSEs before and they had either a switch or an IFID card to change the settings on it. But this one is really funny. The actual display on the EVSE shows you the settings, the temperature, the kilowatt hours, the time of charge, the voltage, the amperes, and the kilowatt. That's a lot of information. I like it. What is going on here? What are you doing? Hey Dave and Betty. Are you enjoying the grass? You have a great day. So let's do some charging with the new EVSE. Yep, time is running and we can see the green light comes on and we are charging with 6 amp which is 5.4 amp and it's 1.35 kilowatt. We've got 250 volts here. Yeah, this is because the solar panels are pushing in at the moment. 
Okay, this is the 10 amp setting. Plugging in the car again. Let's see what 10 amp. There we go, it's ramping up the kilowatt at the bottom to roughly 2.4, 2.3. Yeah. So the 10 amp setting brings us 9.3 amps and 2.3 kilowatt. And finally, let's try the turbo charge with 15 amp. And let's see how far the kilowatts go up. It's one, two kilowatts, three, 3.4, 3.45. So it's charging with 14.2 amps now. And look at the voltage, it dropped to 242 volts. Nice. 3.45 kilowatt. This will charge up my this will charge up my car in no time. And 5 meter cable gives you enough flexibility to reach your car even if your power point is a little bit further away. I needed to go inside the neighbor. So while the technical details of this device are fairly impressive, there were a lot of other benefits which I found other EVSEs don't have. They have free shipping in Australia, New Zealand and the UK. It comes with three years comprehensive warranty. I've ordered it online on a Sunday and a, a person, so it, it wasn't an automatic reply, it was a person who responded to me on that Sunday to confirm the order. They shipped it out on Monday and it has arrived on Thursday. Yeah. Evolution Australia is 100% Australian owned. And a very important thing is the RCM and safety certificates this device has. So if you buy online and purchase an EVSE overseas, it won't have these safety certificates. If you buy a larger charging station from them, they have a nationwide installation service available. I'm not being sponsored or paid in any form by Evolution Australia to say any of that or even make this video. So if this product sucks, I will let you know. But you know, I've done one full charge already and everything worked totally fine. And I really like the display on the EVSE, which gives you all the details about your charging cycle. If you spend more than $250 in their shop and use my promo code Unplugged EV, Evolution Australia will give you a free... <laughs> So because the new EVSE God, outside studio, We're waiting for the helicopter. This happens when you have an outside studio. I thought I. Just wait for the frog. Come on, focus here. Oh well, and now I have to clean up all this mess here. And then we play with the dog. Wait until this is dry. <laughs> <laughs>